And now we are given a point P with the parameter theta as P. What we want to do is to show that the normal at this point P is going to pass through this point P0. Okay, so at this point P, we are given that the parameter theta is equal to P, which means that the coordinates of this point P will be x coordinate is p minus sine p and the y coordinates is going to be 1 minus cosine of p and what we want is also the gradient of the tangent at point p because that is going to help me to deduce for the gradient of the normal at this point p so dy dx okay, from the first part we know dy dx is cotangent half theta since theta is equal to p so the gradient is going to be cotangent of half p. Right now what we want to do is to find the equation of this normal because for that equation I'm going to deduce that the x-intercept is at p0. Right, so let's try to find the equation right, of the normal at the point p. Right, this is going to be y minus away the y coordinate 1 minus cosine of p is equal to minus 1 over the gradient of the tangent. Gradient of tangent is this, so minus cotangent of half p. Okay, this is x multiplied by x minus away the x coordinate. Okay, so minus away p minus sine p. Okay, so y minus 1 minus cosine p is equal to this is going to be minus tangent of half p and x minus p plus sine p. Okay, and at this point, that is when y is equal to 0. So I'm going to let y be equal to 0. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show that by letting y be equal to 0 here, x is going to be equal to p. Because once I manage to show that, that means the x-intercept is going to be p0. So let's give it a try. I'm going to let y be equal to 0, which means that minus 1 minus cosine p this is minus tangent of half p of x minus p plus sine p which means that x minus p plus sine p is equal to this dividing over you'll be 1 minus cosine of p divided by tangent of half p okay let's try to combine this together i'm going to change the numerator to half p to do that i'm going to make use of this identity cosine 2a is equal to 1 minus 2 sine square a. Okay, so 2 sine square a is equal to 1 minus cosine 2a, which means that this can be re-expressed as 2 sine square of half p divided by tangent of half p. And tangent of half p, it is 1 over sine half p cosine half p. So bring it up. I will get this of cosine of half p divided by sine of half p. And sine and sine can be cancelled. So x minus p plus sine p can now be expressed as 2 sine of half p cosine of half p. Well, I'm going to make use of trigger identity again. It is now this identity that I'm going to use. Sine 2a is equal to 2 sine a cosine a. Okay, which means that this is just going to be equal to sine of p. Okay, and this is nice because sine p and sine p, they will be eliminated. That means x minus p is equal to 0. So x is equal to p. That is why the x-intercept is going to be at the point p0. And this is what the question wants us to show.